Hey everybody, just thought I'd take a minute to show you my little toy I've been working on um, the last couple days. What, uh, what it is is a recreation of a toy I had as a kid called Sea Diver. And what you did with Sea Diver is you had this plastic bottle filled with water and this little diving bell that would go, would start from the top and when you squeeze the bottle it would go towards the bottom and the claws would open up. And so what you do is you try to grab these little items that are down at the bottom, little anchors and uh, sextants and, you know, seafaring items like that. Um, so I had this toy. It was probably 1974 or so. I was like eight years old. And, um, you know, I was fascinated by it. I mean, you know, I, we didn't have video games and all that stuff. We had some pretty simple toys. But this thing just didn't make sense. I mean, why would the thing go down if I squeezed the bottle? I had no idea. And how in the world did the claws open? I mean, that was nuts. I mean, as eight years old, I had no idea what was going on. Um, yeah, so, I, you know, it was a cool toy. I liked it. It's simple, um, fun, you know. And uh, But eventually, you know, like all toys, it broke. The, um, the plastic bottle got a rip in it. Uh, and being the 70s again, you know, we were drinking out of bottles back then, right? We didn't have these plastic bottles. We didn't have an ocean full of them. We didn't have stores full of them. I couldn't find a plastic bottle. As ridiculous as that sounds now, I had no idea where to get a plastic bottle. And so, you know, the stuff got thrown away and, uh, you know, lost track of it. But uh, I never knew how that thing worked. I mean, I went to school. I had a little bit of science class here and there, but they never explained uh Descartes, I guess, whose uh, theory lead, uh, is the foundation of this um, this toy, uh, and I didn't know that you know people in other science classes all over, all over the place were doing uh, making Cartesian divers, what usually out of an eyedropper. It's an old um, you know science trick that a lot of people knew. I didn't know it. Um, I didn't know it until uh, you know five days ago. It's ridiculous, you know. Um, so anyway, what led to this is like all um, adults getting into their 40s, you know, you uh, look up your toys on eBay, you know, all your old toys, they were once collecting them, well, they get kind of expensive. So here's one, Sea Diver on eBay, right? Look at that, 500 bucks, 500 bucks for <laughs> a toy that I broke. I think I probably broke that in like two months, you know, it, it didn't last that long, right? Um, but I was still curious, and I had to figure out how it worked. So finally, you know, I, I finally connected that uh, it was this Cartesian diver after Googling around and looking for it. It turns out there's zillions of YouTube videos on Cartesian divers. Um, you know, the basic eyedropper comes up and down. Um, but I wanted the uh, the sea diver version with the claws. I wanted to grab stuff. You know, I wanted to show my kid. Um, so I went to the laboratory downstairs, um, and this is what I put together. It's a uh, two-liter bottle filled with uh, fish tank gravel and uh, some Lego toys. And uh, the tricky part is the diving bell, which created out of plastic, uh, brass, and some copper wire hooks. Um, and so what's going on here with this diver is that... Uh, it's got a hole in the bottom of it, and so when you squeeze this bottle, the pressure that builds up will push the water into the diving bell and compress the air, and that's the whole Descartes theory. Um, the water is more uh, is more dense than the air, so the air compresses, the water gets in, and the diver lowers. Um, the other thing that's happening has to do with the claws. Um, and what's operating those is a little float that's inside that's hooked up to the claws. And so if I could get this thing sideways, I could give you a better view, but there you go. You can kind of see when you squeeze it, there's water shooting up in there and the claws pop open. Um, and so that's the part I put together. And here's the fun part. Okay, let's see if we can get that little skeleton guy. So what you do is you squeeze it, Aim the guy down, and then you just kind of let's see. Let's see if we can lunge it. Grab that guy. Oh yeah, there we go. Got the skeleton. Yeah, I still got it. So there you go. That's my toy. Um, that's how we do it in the Meyer household. So 
above all, remember, stay curious, my friends.